This video starts off with Bowser Jr. playing with Thomas the Tank Engine. I mean, isn't he a little too old? To, you know what? I don't judge. I collect toys myself. It's fine. So Cody then brings in the Come Come to Life machine. I can't believe I said that out loud. So to demonstrate that the machine can work, Junior throws in Thomas the Tank Engine, and then Cody cl Oh, no wait, Junior's going to throw Thomas again! Oh, this time it's a lot harder. Don't really know why that was necessary, but okay. So Cody activates the machine, and after a little bit of some victory screeching, Thomas comes to life! But because Thomas was meant to be a toy and not a living creature, his existence is constant pain. Meanwhile, Chef Pee Pee is cooking some rather fine, delicious spaghetti, chicken, and M. Oh, oh crap, it looks like Thomas the Tank Engine is pissed off. He just wants people to kill him. So back to the main plot, they test out a bunch of other toys in order to bring back to life, including a pig, which turns out to be Cody's mom, and Rigby from Regular Show. Then Junior brings out the bright idea to use the machine to bring Ken to life, and Cody loves that idea, so he brings in Ken and brings him to life, becoming a fully-fledged living being that Cody is immensely happy about. In fact, Cody is so happy that he wants to test out to see if his 8-pack is real. Oh my god, that is, that, that is one ab, I'm not gonna lie. So then they go out and have a gay old montage. You know, despite the rather inappropriate moments of this montage, I would say this is rather cute. You know, Cody finally gets to have the man of his life. He goes out on dates. He's finally found the, the person he gets to spend the rest of his life with. And, well, I mean, yeah, yeah, he's happy. And, um... You know, sometimes I wish I would have something like this. Not necessarily a guy, but you know, a girl, and... Yeah. <clears throat> oh, okay, um, back to the video. Focus, math. Anyway, so back to the video. They then plan on going to the AMC theaters in order to do... Something. But when they get to the theater, Cody is displeased that they're gonna have to sit right next to a woman. At first, they pay no attention, but then Ken starts looking at her. In order to not raise any suspicions, he tells a bunch of lies. But after a couple of lies, Ken admits that he just wants to know what's written on the woman's shirt. So Cody asks her, and love is written on the shirt, but then Ken asks what's written under her. And this makes the girl uncomfortable to the point where she gets the manager and has them promptly kicked out of the theater. Smooth move. Anyways, they get back to Junior's house, but then Ken sees Penelope and he is instantly attracted to her, of which Penelope is grateful, but then Cody kicks them out of the room. I'm pretty sure this is Junior's house, but whatever. Cody demands an explanation from Ken, and he admits that maybe he's just not gay and would rather have women than Cody. So, oh, oh, okay, so I guess Ken was not gay the whole time. So Ken decides to break up with Cody and leave him, leaving Cody into a mess, thus changing the status quo. Oh, never mind, Cody just simply buys another Ken doll, and he will not bring this one back to life just to make sure that he likes him or anything. It's just, just don't question it, okay? It's the status quo. The SML question is, which one of your toys would you want to come to life? And, uh, oh boy, I... I have an idea, but... Uh, I mean, I... I... Hey Math, I've heard you got back into SML, so I was thinking maybe we could get some ideas for a brand new SML review lore and... No. Math. No. Don't do it. No, I know what the video is about, but don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I bring you back to life! Ah! Ugh. Uh, wait, where did she go? Oh boy, man, what happened last night? It, it can't be. You're alive. You're alive! Get away from me, you creep. Oh. Damn. 
rejected. So after my heart was viciously broken, I guess I'm gonna have to finalize this review. <clears throat> oh, anyway, anyway, so um, you guys came here for the review, so what are my overall thoughts on Awaken? Well, this video was actually pretty entertaining. The first half of the video where they're bringing toys to life is pretty funny because, well, they're toys, they're not meant to be living creatures, so when they're actually brought to life, they don't want to be living, they just want to die because their pain is a constant existence. I think that's pretty funny, even if it's very, very dark. And the rest of the video was also fairly entertaining. I mean, the scene where Cody and Ken are doing some gay old things, I mean, that montage was actually pretty funny. This video also feels like it actually has a structure to its plot. The previous SML videos just kind of feel like there was a conflict, but then the conflict just kind of gets resolved in a funny way while the characters just kind of mess around and stuff. But this video actually feels like there's a structure to the plot with a beginning, a middle, and end. The beginning with Junior and friends bringing things to life, the middle where Cody is hanging out with Ken, and then the final act where Ken reveals that he is not gay. There's an actual structure to this plot, and I really appreciate it when SML does that. So yeah, this video was actually pretty good. It was entertaining, the jokes were good, the plot had a structure, and yes, the ending was actually really great. Until the part where Cody reveals he just simply bought another Ken doll. You know, this could have been a great opportunity to develop a sort of overarching plot. Because my idea would have been to change the status quo a little bit by having Ken disappear for a few videos. And then later on, the arc concludes with Ken wanting to be a toy again and wanting to be with Cody again. But obviously, since he's a living human being, he doesn't feel that love that he did when he was a toy or something like that in order to bring him back into a toy. Now, obviously, this idea needs to be developed more because, obviously, there isn't much going on here other than Ken is alive and then he wants to be a toy again. But if the idea was fleshed out, it could have been an interesting way to make SML a lot better now. But despite the ending, the video itself was overall a pretty entertaining video. If I had to give this a rating, I'd give it 4 stars out of 5. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Dog. <laughs>